I'm Niall Gagan. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist in Berkeley, California, and I work with people in person, but also by phone and by Skype, and that's specifically what I'm going to speak to in this video. Uh, I've worked with a lot of clients by phone over the past several years, and I can consistently say that I've found absolutely no difference in terms of quality and efficacy uh, between the sessions that I do in person and the sessions that I do uh, by phone. In fact, in a lot of situations, there can be some real advantages to be gained by working by phone, and I'll speak to that over the course of this video. Uh, broadly speaking, there are three different categories of people who choose to work with me by phone. Uh, first are people who are actually right here in the Bay Area, but for one reason or another, they choose to uh, work with me by phone. Um, either they don't want to battle the traffic to come in and see me in my office, or they just prefer the you know convenience of being able to work from their own home or from their own office, and so that's how we do most of our sessions together. Then I've got people who travel a lot for work. Uh, I've got clients who Almost every time I call them, they're in a different state or sometimes even in a, diff in a different country. And I'll always start those sessions by asking, where are you, just because I get such a kick out of, you know, all the different responses that come up. And those people tend to not think that they can do therapy because they have no way of seeing a therapist regularly enough to, you know, get some really effective work done. But because we're able to work by phone, I can contact them no matter where they are, and we're able to maintain that regularity and get some really good therapeutic work done. The third group are people who uh, live part of the year here in California and then may spend significant portions of the rest of the year abroad. So I've got clients who spend big portions of the time in Europe. Um, I've had clients who spend a big part of the year in Israel. Um, I've even had a client, an American client, living and working in China last year. And what I do with those people is I have them call me um, through their computer using Skype to landline call. Uh, it's a really simple system to use. You just sign up for Skype, which is free and um, then you can call a landline anywhere in the world for 2.5 cents per minute. So uh, the phone bill for uh, an hour-long session comes out to just over a dollar. And um, because we're not using the video portion, we're almost always guaranteed to have crystal clear sound and a really good connection. And um, I very rarely have problems, no matter where people are calling me from in the world, uh, using Skype to landline. That brings me to the next question, which is people often ask about video conferencing. Uh, what I tell people is I do do video conferencing therapy. Um, it's not my preference. Uh, the reason for that is that Skype and Uvu and the other free systems that people tend to be uh, signed up for already uh, just aren't reliable enough still. Um, over the course of an hour, it's invariable that at some point the picture will pixelate or uh, the sound will get funky and an echo will develop. Maybe we'll even have to hang up and reinitiate the video call. And it's not the end of the world, but it can really break things up at a key moment in a therapy session. Having said that, I have a number of clients who just hate talking on the phone and they really like being able to see a face on a screen and that's what they're used to is doing video conferencing. Especially my younger clients, I've got um, high school age and college age clients who sometimes even are, have gone away to college, I started working with them here but now they've left and they just prefer to be able to see the face on the screen, that's what they're used to and so I'm happy to work that out with people. Um, the other question people ask often is how billing works when I'm working remotely. Um, the answer to that is it's basically quite simple. I, I can send an invoice through uh, one of two different means. Either if you've got an, an account set up with PayPal, then I can email you an invoice through PayPal. Uh, that's linked to your bank account and it comes out of, that's how you pay. And if you don't have a, a PayPal account, then I can just as easily send an email uh, invoice through Google Wallet. So you just open your email and Google has a secure uh, system set up so you can pay by credit card. Either one of those costs nothing to the client and they're equally convenient for me, so I use them both a lot. The last thing that I'll say about uh, phone therapy is that a lot of studies have been done over the last several years um, showing the, the efficacy and the value uh, and the helpfulness of phone therapy. If you look at my website, and the URL for my website will show up at the end of this video, you'll see that I've got a number of links to journal articles that you can read and uh, to some YouTube videos that you can watch with some recent reports on empirical studies that were done that really are starting to show that the efficacy of phone therapy. Um, as you'll also see on my website, I'm happy to do a 20-minute free consultation with anybody who thinks that it might be helpful to work with me. You just contact me through my website and uh, we'll figure out a time that I can give you a call and that can also give you a sense of what it's like to connect by phone. Um, I'm always open to new clients and uh, I would absolutely welcome you to send me an email through my website and I'll give you a call and we'll talk and we'll see how I can help. I look forward to talking to you.